Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Congressmen are protected from arrest while in session, except under what three conditions? The protection of Congress members from arrest is rooted in Article 1, Section 6, Clause 1 of the U.S. Constitution. This clause was designed to ensure that members of Congress can perform their legislative duties without interference from external authorities. Historically, this privilege was adopted from English parliamentary and colonial practices, as well as the Articles of Confederation. The idea was to protect the legislative process and the representation of constituents by preventing members from being withdrawn from their duties due to civil suits or other non-criminal matters. The Constitution specifies that this privilege applies during the members' attendance at the session of their respective houses and while traveling to and from these sessions. However, there are specific exceptions to this rule. One of the key exceptions is for cases of treason. This is a serious offense that involves betraying one's country, and it is not covered under the privilege from arrest. Members of Congress can be arrested and prosecuted for treason despite their legislative duties. Another exception is for felony cases. A felony is a serious crime that can result in significant penalties, including imprisonment. Members of Congress do not enjoy immunity from arrest for felonies, as these are considered serious enough to override the privilege. The third exception is for breaches of the peace. This term encompasses a wide range of criminal offenses that involve public disturbance or violence. Like treason and felony, breaches of the peace are not protected under the privilege from arrest, ensuring that members of Congress can be held accountable for such actions. In practice, this means that while members of Congress are generally protected from arrest during their legislative activities, they can still be held accountable for serious criminal offenses. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.